Okay, so it's getting a bit late and I'm getting a bit tired, so hopefully this comes out alright. But this is the demo of my first adaptation of, um, or my adaptation of the first Ghost Recon mission from the original Ghost Recon game. And it's using the Australia map, so it kind of works out, but I don't know, the AI are a bit funny on it, so I might go back to the original map that I was using, which was Essica. So hopefully I'll have a play through this weekend and see how it goes. Um, but the AI just consistently seem to not move around like they're meant to. Like this dude, for example, will just chill. He'll just hang here and do nothing, even though it's seek and destroy you. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll probably I'll run a bunch of tests and see what's going on with them, and maybe go back to Essica. But I'd like to really do it on Australia if I can, because it's Australia, and Australia is awesome. Uh, so, let's give it a roll. At the moment, the way the mission stands, I've run a test. MP test with one other and it um, everything seems to work so a little bit of lag there but no worries so Ghost Recon yeah I've named it all Shadow Warrior because I don't know to separate a little bit from Ghost Recon but the idea being that you select your role like you would in Ghost Recon um, when you're selecting your, your AI teammates um, so you select it for yourself though here. Um, so you get your standard roles here. On the left you've got how many slots are available for those dudes. So those will update. So say one of your dudes picks a rifleman, um, the number will obviously change to five then because one of those six would have been taken up. Um, under sub roles you've got the tooltips coming up to show you what they've got. The sensor is definitely implemented um, and also definitely tested. Um, I just need to change that. Uh, same with support, so the Minimi, Extra Ammo, Frags, Claymores and the M9. So this little picture here uh, will change. You can see the tooltip there, currently selected role, which is no role selected. If I hit confirm role, it just bounces back up. It also gets rid of that hint, which you know might, <laughs> might annoy you a bit if you haven't really read, uh, read it. But um, yeah, you still need to pick your role. Pressing escape at the moment will quit the menu, but I'll add that in at some point to disable escape. It's an easy addition anyway. So we're going to pick the sensor so I can demonstrate the sensor as well. Uh, also, specialist on the right. If, if anyone that's played Ghost Recon, they'll know that once you complete the um, uh, additional objectives, I guess, um, they unlock extra specialists. Uh, for the next mission, so that's what this will be, and this being the first mission, there's no extra specialist to uh, unlock. The next dude would have an OICW in Ghost Recon, but there's no OICW for for armor. There was one back in Flashpoint, I think. Maybe not yet in Flashpoint. I think there was a mod, or an add-on that had an OICW, but I don't think I've seen one for, or I've never used one for armor one and two, and there's nothing for three. So um, I. I I can't remember what I've picked, but I know I've made a compromise uh, on that. Um, so anyway, we'll crack on. I'll pick the sensor, and you'll see what I mean with the uh, the gear. So you can see it pops up here. That's the screen that you would see in Ghost Recon with a slight edit. Um, I've done the sensor a bit different. Everyone, every player in Ghost Recon would have a sensor come up in the bottom of the screen, which would be similar <laughs> and far less dodgy to what you're going to see in the top left of the screen. Um, and whoever had the sensor would be able to place a sensor down uh, in game that would then show I believe on the map it would show all units within a you know certain area uh, that went past it so it's kind of like having um, an early warning device or like a um, an observation point provided by the sensor so uh, in this case um, the one is kind of uh, redundant because only the dude that pick sensor will have access to the sensor. So I've kind of gone with it like that. No, no, no. I could change it eventually, but I'm not going to now. I like it this way. We'll see how it goes anyway. So confirm roll, and bam, I get my stuff. So there's the amazing sensor. 
updating it seems to be a little bit slower than it usually is maybe because my computer's been on for a while anyway so you can see it updating there with uh, positions for the enemy so I've tried to use tried to go with the same uh, sensor as Ghost Recon um, the little red dot in the middle fits in the right spot that it's meant to but for anyone that remembers it it's the inner um, the inner chevrons or whatever you want to call them uh, that would light up with that yellow marker um, and the outer ones would light up red when you've been shot at from from that direction so I plan on adding those red uh, shot indicator chevrons uh, later on um, but they're not in there just yet so those yellow ones are still left over from my original um, sensor HUD uh, which is a pretty dodgy um, set up but it was a nice quick way to sort of at least get a HUD working and it kind of gave me a chance to figure out um, transparency with the images as well so you can see it's transparent there um, yeah it took me a little while to work that one out with the initial bodgy looking my version of a HUD uh, as per Ghost Recon I have an M16A4 um, it's got an aim point. The little picture of the Tooting Ghost Recon when you pick this guy has an aim point on his gat. Um, so it's got one here. Ten mags, so one there, three there for four, and another six for a total ten. No frag grenades, no pistol, no anything else. Because that's how it is in Ghost Recon. That I will not change. So usually if this is like a co-op that I was doing, I'd give everyone frag grenades because everyone would usually have frag grenades in reality but I'm not going to do that here because that wasn't as per Ghost Recon and I don't know I, I want to do this as close to Ghost Recon as possible now I know there's a position up here I'm going to either have to move this position to be more in line with the camp to force players to bump it uh, or move the start location to here I don't think I'll move the start location because that's kind of an even bigger hill to unnecessarily climb up and over. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> These bushes get in the way. They're annoying. That's, Engage at will. It's cool, but they're kind of annoying. The AI, they are blind and deaf in the Australia map. So, although it's cool, I like the Australia map. Um, yeah, I might just move back onto Essica, at least for the first couple of maps that are supposed to take place in Georgia, I believe from the original Ghost Recon and there we go now I won't die I don't want to die not when I'm trying to demonstrate and test and whatnot so we'll roll on up Form to the line. enemy position and resume this commentary shortly before uh, the firefight breaks out Okay, in the actual mission, the multiplayer mission, this has just been run from the editor at the moment, but in the MP mission you can revive your um, player teammates. These are all AI teammates at the moment. In, um, in the proper MP version of this, you won't have AI teammates. Not at the moment. I've left them out. Um, whatever. It wouldn't, wouldn't take much to get them back in. Um, because I've just disabled them at the moment. If I did enable them, it would just be these guys with uh, M16s and extra ammo. That's it. Um, <coughs> but I've just left it on players only at the moment. Just, just cause, just cause big fat whatevs. So we'll roll up on the target. Uh, so what I was saying before, uh, respawn. Sorry, revive is in this, so you can revive your your teammates, I mean players. Um, don't know how AI would go. I don't know whether they can be revived or whether they will revive you. Yeah, they revive you, but it's open fire. Let's, let's get into this. Front. Lock and load. Stack MK. One hundred meters front. Rifleman. One hundred meters front. Target mm -hmm. down. Ready. See that? Oh no, he's alright. He's Soldier. Two hundred meters front. So you can see that little red circle up the top left would mean there's a bad guy within 50 meters we got a man of, down. of the player's position. Down. So obviously that guy was just killed. 
A teammate, team, team mat, teammate has died. He's hit. At least in the editor, you can't revive AI. Don't know about the mission, but whatever. Not much of a concern at the moment. Let's go, champs. Stay alert. Six. Report in. Over. Ooh, I lost a couple. Good for them. So that's. Shit, we got a man down. 50, 50 cal machine gun there. Five. Report in. Got, ooh, Over. Oh, I lost a few more than just those guys. I've got one man dude left. Down. <laughs> Stand up and expose myself. Alright, see, look at him. He's not doing a thing. Shooting gun on around him and he's just hanging. Contact! Man! Doesn't care. Now he cares. So that's why Contact! I will Soldier! possibly put this back on it. It's very annoying.